Hi guys, I'm gonna do a Dollar Tree haul because you know the drill. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday and I saw so many new things. And as a matter of fact, I filmed it. I don't think that it's part of this video at all. I don't know where that shop with me of the Dollar Tree that I filmed is going to go, whether it's on this channel or my vlog channel. It's probably gonna be on Crafty Girl. So, and if so, it will probably be up before this video. Um, so this is all irrelevant, but there were so many new things I was blown away. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out because I didn't pick up everything um, that they had. So, but I did get some things and let's, let's just go, let's just go. Also, I'm gonna include a small Target haul. I can't say that it's small because I walked out spending $67. And then I felt like, did I even get anything worth $67? And then afterwards when I was thinking about everything that I got, I was like, I was like actually surprised because then I thought okay I actually got quite a bit from Target so we'll walk through all of that too but let's go ahead and look at Dollar Tree first because I'm so excited about it I can't hardly stand it okay so first bag is I found a new little Easter basket and I couldn't help myself like essentially, I could have just taken a picture of it and shown it to you guys so that you would know this is at Dollar Tree because what am I honestly going to do with this? I don't have any little kids because I think this is completely adorable. Now it is, you know, like felt. Um, don't know that it's that sturdy of material. I mean, it is pretty thick. I will say that. Um, but I thought this little carrot basket was adorable. I think this is new. I don't remember this from last year. So comment down below and let me know. Some stores obviously do things different. Adorable. Also, I picked up a new garden tin can. Um, in my last Dollar Tree haul, I hauled uh, two other styles, but I didn't see this style there. And it says flowers and garden, just like my other two. And I really love this. So I feel like this goes with like my like farmhouse feel, like can you not feel it with this whole bedroom? So I'm gonna be doing a bathroom makeover in my guest bathroom, so stay tuned for that because I'm super excited. All right, I also picked up the chalk eggs again. I have a DIY in mind, which don't worry, spring DIYs are coming, and I realized I probably need a little bit more. So stay tuned for that as well. So I basically got two, which makes it a total of five. I have five now because I think in my last haul where I got these, I bought three. And in my last haul, I was talking about all the Bolero products that I hauled and the Moroccan mint and raspberry was everything. And I realized that I bought two of the Italian pear and I wanted the Moroccan and raspberry mint. Moroccan mint and raspberry. You guys, this is such an amazing smell. I mean, it's sealed, which is good. I love that it's sealed but I smelled it in the last video and it's amazing. So I'm glad that I found this. Let's go into this now. So as you can see, I got a new trash can. Also, I got this gorgeous, what is like, what is this? What would you call this? And what I love about this is my daughter and her best friend, the one from the A&M video, they, they are, I cannot talk today. They have been best friends since middle school, since they first met, and they think of themselves as the sun and the moon, my daughter being the moon because she's a night owl, and her friend being the sun because she's an early, early riser. And so it's just so fitting, and for Halloween last year, they went as the sun and the moon, which was so incredibly, incredibly adorable. Um, and when I saw this, I was like, this is so them. and. Her, my daughter's best friend, her birthday's coming up. And I thought this would just be like a cute little like gift. Well, I don't know. So I got that. Okay, then they had new hand soap. So you probably would have seen it in my video already. And this is the Clar, Clar in Denver foaming hand wash in this pair. And it says antibacterial. I don't know that I've seen too much antibacterial stuff at Dollar Tree, at least I've never seen like the label for it. 
in this bag, I found a lot of exciting new stickers and stationery. I was just so blown away by all the new stuff that I saw yesterday. And look at this whole set for $1. And I have to say, that's incredible because these type of stickers um, tend to range anywhere between 3 to $4, maybe even 5 But look how stunning they are. And I don't think that this is Dollar Tree. I don't know, like, crepe paper. I've never really heard of crepe paper before, but yeah. And look at this one. This one is from a place called We Are Memory Keepers. I don't know. I don't know what, what this really is. I just realized that they also have a whole another set on the back and look macaroons and look at these huge flower stickers and all the page flags and the letters the little block letters and oh my goodness like this you could make an entire spread for one dollar using this very very cute I can't believe that and then I found some standard jot stickers they're very adorable the first one is this pirate theme and I, I always gravitate towards pirate stickers just because of the Goonies, but look how adorable this is. Look at him sitting on a little bu bucket or whatever. Oh, and then I found some more pirate themed stickers with the octopus and a little seahorse he's got on his like pirate hat. And the fish and it has like a touch of glitter I don't know if you can tell but these are like glittery type of stickers and look at these how stinking cute and girly is this girl she is rocking it out and look at her with her little pigtails and look at her with her glasses I cannot and the little bug really cute stickers and then the last one look how adorable and they have a little the little shaker eyeballs and they actually had a ton more and you probably would have seen it in the shop with me I'm not really sure if I filmed that part or not but I thought that this was my favorite and you know I already have way too many stickers as it is I haven't even gotten to any sticker organization yet so I was limiting myself to just one and the banana is so cute but he doesn't have he's a flat sticker strawberry the little apple the, uh, the random rainbow, that's kind of random. A whole thing of fruit and then like two rainbows. The like orange slice has the eyes, it's really cute. And look at the little lemon girl and the pineapple. Oh, I can't stand it, so cute. All right, the next thing, you guys. For starters, how gorgeous is this cover? Like look at this purple foil, but what is this? This is the adult coloring book color for an hour and I thought this book was stunning I actually prefer kids coloring books I like larger image images rather than like these like very intricate tiny tiny images that you need like um, coloring pencils for but or those like really super thin markers um, but I definitely want to try this out and I just thought that this was stunning one one dollar I don't what am I supposed to say about that? I found these charcoal strips. I've never seen anything charcoal related at the Dollar Tree. That's not to say there hasn't been stuff. I just have never seen it. These are cleansing nose strips in charcoal. Removes blackheads, unclogs pores, and works in 10 minutes. So I thought I'd give that a go. Why not? Always love checking out the book section at Dollar Tree and I found a new book. The cover kind of drew me in before I even read the title because it's a blue heel, it's so cute, so feminine, and I love girly stuff. And this says, Once Upon Now. I was like, what? Is that a misprint? Is that why it's at the Dollar Tree? But it says, Modern Tales with a Fantastical Twist. I'll be interested. Um, here are all of the stories. So each of these are separate stories. Um, like, for example, of Sirens and Beasts. I'm going to assume that's something about Beauty and the Beast, like a twist on Beauty and the Beast. I don't know. Hooded, that could be a play on Little Red Riding Hood. Sleeping Beauty Syndrome, Sleeping Beauty, 
homeschool hair. I don't know if that's like tangled kind of thing. While I was in the book section, they were trying to be sneaky. I think maybe the person didn't realize that it, they weren't actually books and maybe that's what it was. But I found new Crown Jewels notebooks in the book section. So this is one that I actually opened because I was like, what is this? It's not a book. There, there aren't chapters or information in there. But so the covers are really cute. Friendship isn't a big thing. It's a million little things. And then when you open it up, it's just a notebook. That's all it is. The cover is really cute. So here is this cover. And it has like a jewel but yet sweet theme. And this is actual real glitter. And then here's this one. Really cute. It's just so adorable. And then look at this one. They kind of like the whole thing just kind of like goes together. And it's honestly making me super hungry. All right. And the last bag from Dollar Tree, um, I got some things for my bathroom declutter, like cabinet basically makeover. These are the same ones that I used in my pantry makeover. I think that these fabric um, storage containers are really chic. They're my favorite color of all of them that Dollar Tree has. So you'll see that in the declutter video. And then I ended up getting this cute bag with the cacti and all the succulents. I hate that word. But as you can see, the handle's purple. I just have to like clip this off. But just the cutest little bag. This nautical rope. It is the first time I've ever seen rope of this nature at Dollar Tree. And let me tell you, you can do some amazing crafts with this for farmhouse. Like I'm super excited they're selling this. It's not that much material, but you know what? I'm gonna take it. It's 13 feet, so I thought this was amazing. All right, Ooh, let's move on to Target. So essentially I went to Target to get some things for this baby shower that my daughter's going to. Her friend's sist older sister had a baby and so they're going to the shower. We went, I went to Target and got the little, it's a little boy and got him a cute little outfit and some diapers. And um, I also I actually got books from the Dollar Tree from this haul, but I already put it in the gift, but it was basically a monkey book and an elephant book. So adorable. All right, anyway, that's why I went to Target, and of course I walk out with all of this as well. So, you know me, I had to hit up the do dollar spot section. I feel like what I was kind of looking at was more on the little girl side, like eight to 10 year old girl stuff. I didn't re really see too much chic stuff. But I found these tapes to be really interesting. So what are they? Holographic tapes. And I thought, who knows? Maybe they could really come in handy. I already have an idea for them. So hopefully they'll look really great on planner paper. But they were each $1. And then I have some other various things. I found these ballpoint pens. I think the style is really beautiful. And sticky notes and page flags. So they had this whole like OMG sunglasses theme and they had tons of other stuff. They had washi, they had sticky notes and all kinds of other things. But I wasn't really interested in buying too much stuff because you know I already have enough. But I think this was my favorite and then it was a dollar. Here's something that was more along the lines of like maturity, I guess you should say, like more chic. Um, these cute little sticky notes. One dollar. And here are these page flags, which I really love. As you can see, this is like a little seashell clam shell or whatever. Here, this is really interesting. This was one dollar and it is a cleaning checklist. What? And look, it comes with this little ring. You can just like attach it into like your planner and it can just like hang out. Let's see what else is in here. So they had bathroom, they have a bedroom. They have the kitchen, the office, the foyer, 
What is this? Clue? And then they just have one for like a whole custom. And it kind of has like a, um, it has like a whiteboard feel to this. Do you see the shininess? So I'm sure maybe if you use like a whiteboard marker and then the eraser, you could like probably reuse. And then I found these really cute foil tattoos for St. Patty's Day. Um, I thought my daughter would like to put maybe one on her face or like whatever because they kind of get into that. Okay, I also needed some beauty blenders. It was just time. Mine were disgusting. They had holes in them. And from what I've heard, like once they start like getting holes, it's time to get rid of them for the bacteria. Of course, Jeffree Star said that, so I really can't say that that's scientifically correct or not. But you can't go wrong with some new beauty blenders. And it had been a while since I had those, so it was probably time anyway. I mean, we're talking about a sponge here, which does ultimately can contain a lot of bacteria. Okay, the next things I'm so excited about because the fact is Target sells some of the cutest and pretty much the only ones who sell some of this uh, cleaning stuff. So they're the ones who sell this method brand. I don't really know if Walmart sells it or not, but I know Target obviously sells it because I bought it. But I got this daily shower and um, and they come like each one's like a different color so I think that's really really interesting how they package it the packaging definitely makes me want to buy it and it was not that expensive it was $2.99 so yeah so definitely go um, read up on like what method is all about but so I got the shower cleaner and then I got an um, all-purpose cleaner which I'm really starting to get into I've never really had like an all-purpose cleaner except like the solution that I make myself which is the vinegar, the Dawn, and the water combo. But I got this all-purpose, and this one's the antibacterial. Kills 99%, 99.9% 9 .9 of household germs, and it's in the citron flavor to germ buster. Kitchen services, countertops, high chairs, doorknobs, garbage cans. But yeah, so I got this one. And that's pretty much it. I was going to get Mrs. Myers. I was actually, one of the other main reasons I went to Target was to get Mrs. Myers because they sell that there. They also sell it on Amazon, but I noticed it's definitely cheaper at Target. But I decided to go with Method instead for whatever reason. I wasn't really feeling any of the scents from Mrs. Myers. So, um, but while I was there, I saw this hand soap by J.R. Watkins. That seems so wild, wild west to me. But, um... I smelled this lemon and I was just so in love with the smell. Yeah, you guys, this is so good. It smells like lemonade a little bit, honestly. Um, paraben free, propylene, glycol free, dye free. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Um, since 1868. Wild West is why I thought that. Um, and so I actually got this for my bathroom and I bought this huge refill. So oddly enough, this was $3.99 and this was $5.99. And the back of this says that it's enough to refill three times. So essentially, this is way a much better deal. So you just buy the bottle once because you obviously need the bottle and then you just continue to buy this instead because you're getting more bang for your buck. And that's it for my haul. I hope that you guys loved it. Um, a lot of new stuff. I'm really excited about it. And I have so many more videos to film. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm going to move on to my bathroom declutter. So stay tuned. Click subscribe. And then if you want to know like when I'm posting videos, you just click the little notification bell. And it should be sending you notifications as soon as like the person that you clicked the notification for it will tell you on your phone hey this person just posted a new video i feel like i rushed through this haul so if i did and i like talked really fast i'm sorry i just have so much to do with that said i'm gonna get to it and i'll see you guys there bye